Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can set up HitScore Visualizer and um, change the color of the text and do those sorts of things. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to open up Mod Assistant. I'll leave a link for that in the description and you want to scroll down to practice slash training and you should see hit score visualizer and then once you've selected that you just want to hit install or update down here so I'm just going to hit that and it should install for you after you've installed hit score visualizer um, what you want to do is you want to open up your game once just quickly and it should create a config file for you. You just have to open the game. You can close it straight away, but you just have to open the game. And once you've opened and closed the game, you can um, go into your Beat Saber folder. So this should be like um, C Drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, or Program Files, and then Oculus. Um, and then there should be a folder called User Data. You want to double click on that, then scroll down till you can find the hit score visualizer config. So you want to double click on that. Um, I'm going to open up a copy which I made of the default one, so just wait one second, I'm going to go find that. Okay, so once you've opened up your config file, the first thing you want to do is change it from is default config true to is default config false and just hit Control s which should save it um, and so what this will do is if you leave it on true then every time you um, the game updates I think it resets it to the default config or something like that and so um, the next thing you can do here is so you can see all these um, options and um, so if you want to change the text like you just want it to say um, the text and nothing else um, for 115. So let me just put an example here. Um, you want to do that, and then you can just remove all of these. And yeah. Um, if you want to change it to say the actual um, number like without the text as well just the number um, all you have to do is remove this remove that press ctrl x which should cut that and you want to press ctrl v or right click and hit paste and put that in there that'll display your score and what you can also do is you can change the size. So for um, these three, I like to make the size 150%. It's nice and big so I can see it. But you can leave it at whatever you want. And up here, if you want to change the size, you have to kind of copy this. So just copy this. And put it there, and you can move this side of there, and now you can change the size. So I'm gonna have that on 150 again. Same with this. I'm just gonna copy and paste that. Um. So yeah, that's how you change the size and stuff. I'm just going to leave these. And um, you should also remove these bottom ones. I don't know. Just because then it won't say the plus underneath. Unless you like that it says excellent or whatever. But if you just want to see the numbers and make them bigger, then you should remove that. And so if we launch the game now, it should have the color changed. So... I'll open the game and then I'll show that and then I'll show you how to change the color so I'll be right back right so I'm in Beat Saber now and I'm just gonna show you that um, it's all working and everything 
So as you can see, when I hit these blocks, the numbers are way bigger. And yeah. And there you can see I got a 115, so you can see the text came up. So yeah, um, now I'm going to show you how you can change the colour, so yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you can change the colour of the text. So this is probably the hardest part, but it's not that hard really. So you're going to want to go into Google Chrome and then in Google Chrome you just want to search up colour picker and so you can just choose any colour here I'm going to choose purple and yeah that colour is not bad so then you can see in the corner there's this RGB value you just want to hit control C and once you've got it copied you need to convert it so I have made a program which converts it to this like 0 to 1 RGB and I'll leave a link to that in the description I'm gonna be using that in this tutorial um, I just made it in unity but um, if you don't want to download that then you just have to down uh, divide each of these three values by 255 um, anyway, so I'm gonna open up the program. Alright, so um, I've opened up the program, it's just called Color Converter. And so you can paste what you copied in, hit enter, and you'll get these values. It should just automatically copy to your clipboard, but you can copy it if you want to. And so let's say I wanted to change this to purple now. So you have to change the first three. The bottom one is just some glow thing. I wouldn't change that, but you can mess around with that if you want to change the shader. But these three are for the color, so I'm just going to select all of these and hit paste. And now click in the spaces and tab, enter, tab, and there. So you've got your color. Now I'm going to do this one more time. I'm going to choose a bit of a like pink color, just this one, copy it, open the program, paste it in, press enter, go down to here, this, enter tab, enter tab. And now you want to press Control S to save. And yeah, that should be it. So um, I'll leave a link to the program in the description. And now I'm going to go into Beat Saber and show you that it all works. Okay, so I'm back in the game again. And I'm going to just test it one more time and see if the color's working. Alright, so as you can see, the colour is changing, the notes are bigger, and everything works. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, because I put a lot of effort into this video, especially the program, and thank you for watching. Bye!